Welcome everybody. Today we're going to be talking about balance changes, new meta, new illa system. I'm here with my boy here, GG Ela23. Currently, what's your ranking right now? Like top top four? Top five? Uh, yeah, I'm uh, top four right now. Top four in the world. All right. So I mean, you're you know you've been testing out a bit like the balance changes. We've seen mm -hmm. like a uh, great great balance changes. BK getting nerfed. Uh, so we're going to be talking about a bunch of balance changes, see your thoughts on how they're going to affect the meta. So let's just uh, jump into a game here and we'll be talking over uh, the changes. All right, let's jump into a game here. We'll have some gameplay. I'll be going up against you. We're just testing out decks. But uh, I want to get your thoughts uh, on the new update overall. Uh, are you happy? Or overall, what's your? What are your thoughts on the, on the game right now? Well, I definitely think this update, like balance changes, were needed because mm -hmm. the B BK was just all over. It wasn't mm -hmm. like not fun. It was like you needed to play BK to have some, like progression. And uh, so now that the shield is gone and the AQ has uh, an extra uh, uh, second back and uh, other minor changes, like the meta is like swift. It's an all new meta than uh, yeah. before. And, and in a way, everyone is starting to become, is, is becoming viable in a way. Like... Uh, Maybe, I, I, I don't, maybe we're, we're leaving one or two heroes, but this feels like we're entering a period where you could play a lot of decks, a lot of heroes with relatively good success. I'm talking on ladder competitively, we'll have to see how things turn out, but uh, yeah, as you mentioned, Archer Queen, I really miss the Archer Queen with the, invinci with the bug fix, she's gonna be back. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's gonna be. It, it, it was much needed, as you mentioned. I, I mean, just you had to play BK if you wanted to grind ladder, and now that's gonna be a whole different story. So that's that's very awesome. It's very awesome. Uh, let's talk about uh, the first, probably the biggest uh, balance change here, which is going to be the BK BK nerf. One second. Uh, how do you think BK has a future? in this uh season? well i do think like people like now that they know that the bk got nerfed and also the archer they mm -hmm. think they uh many people won't use like barcher that means mm -hmm. may, uh, more people will uh, use um dar goblin and all those ranged minis which means if you can make it work it's still viable but i have not seen it yet it might come back soon, uh, but for now, I think it's still kind of dead. It's, uh, mm. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, Who knows? I mean, the but thing is, the nerf to the invincibility means that, like, he's not going to be coming out with, like, 9 HP or, like, because if the BK, the BK, the thing is, the BK would get invincible for 5 seconds and then he will heal, he would heal up back. Which was just so painful for any troop to get through BK and then the troops behind. So now this is going to overall like just nerf his survivability. We're not going to see a BK survive for like 20 seconds by himself. So that's very good, and that's going to, as you mentioned, that's going to leave options for the Dark Goblin, other ranged troop that didn't see any that weren't viable because Archer would just shred them. So yeah. That's this yeah. very. It's, it's a very. This change is gonna allow the meta to to breathe again in a way, uh, and that's uh, that's a very. We, we gotta give them props uh, for for having such a such a great meta here. Uh, hopefully, I mean. Mm -hmm. um, so BK 2.0 is gonna be is gonna be difficult to play or to play it, uh, but that's that's yeah. uh, very very nice. But we're talking about. BK, right? So yeah, yeah, yeah. BK, also BK. now, that I think there might be a chance that uh, BK Dart Goblin, like the the one you used to run, or I don't mm -hmm. know, yeah, yeah like yeah. with the Fisherman, 
The, the that bowler. might also come back. I, yeah, yeah, that one. I, I really I enjoyed that archetype. It. And I think I'm going to be playing it competitive because I this was my favorite archetype. Uh, and now I'm going to be able to like really play it because back then I could just couldn't play it because just uh, the archer would shred my my healing ranger dark goblin combo. So yeah, very very nice change. Uh, we I, I gotta say it's not uh, for me this is like not too hard but not too like small of a nerf so it's good. I think it's a good. Uh, uh, what, what do you think? What would you? What's your opinion on that? Do you think it was too much or too too small of a change? The shield nerf. Yeah. Yeah. So I think the shield was like the the mo like the biggest problem about the BK. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think like one second, it's still like kind of OP, but way less. Uh, mm. Um, I feel like I've been winning way more times than usual because the shield against BK. But uh, yes, hmm. with uh, everything, yeah. All right, all right. Let's talk now about the Natureborn. Probably one uh, a great, great bug fix uh, that they did on the deer. She now can give the damage boost for the full six seconds if i'm correct so this is going to allow i mean i've tested it out personally and it feels really nice it feels really nice do you think that was enough the hp buff plus the bug fix on the nature board or do you think maybe they should have gone a bit a bit more uh in, in terms of uh, buffing her. So yeah, personally, I haven't used her yet in their form, mm -hmm. cause one time uh, in expeditions, cause I didn't know what they changed. I didn't even know what the like the fix was. But now I uh, then I realized it was like an increase of a uh, boast, mm -hmm. and I think it was necessary, cause I didn't even before the updates. Like I didn't even uh, the notice. Or, or like... Yeah, the duration was yeah the duration the duration was so short. I did not notice that it hmm. was like given that much uh, damage. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I see what you mean. The the two. I don't even think it was two seconds. It was so short. And, and basically, the thing is, she the nature born deer form would give the damage boost. Once the target is at full HP, which once like maybe at the first five seconds, first ten seconds, you might get the damage boost, but then you'll never see it because no no units on the board would be at full HP during the game. So yeah, exactly. over, um, I think I believe mm, she needs something more. The deer form needs something more. Like uh, yes. I don't know if it's her. If it's her, um, um, if it's her hit speed, if it's her health, if it's there, there's just something that just doesn't feel like a great hero to rely on. Uh, so, so right now I would uh, definitely maybe suggest. Uh, I think for the deer form only. I don't know if they can do separate bounce changes. But uh, the deer form just uh, give her give her something more. Give her something more. Uh, I, I don't think right now she's a, a great. Uh, she's, the deer form's just maybe first round. First round deer form. I don't know if you've tried it or you went up against it, but it's pretty strong. It's pretty strong. So we yeah, uh, I haven't played against it yet. I think like mm -hmm. the what. The deer form, oh uh, no, the human form is just way better. Hmm. It's like, because the reason you play it is for the energy. Hmm. And I don't know, like you have P.E.K.K.A. for if you want to make like a damage stack for like with the deer and P.E.K.K.A. But the P.E.K.K.A. does already so much damage and yeah. mm, you might use Barb. So I have an idea, I just thought of it. And what if the... Deer form 
doesn't like heal like the uh, uh like minis minis close to her but the furthest away so like you can use oh. dark goblin archer for oh, damage so, so it would target it's much like the healing ranger in a way yes okay i think because I don't think the front troops do that much of damage, and if they do, yeah, you have mini pack and barbarian, but I don't think it's like that viable. So mm. I'd rather have like uh, something that does dam extra damage for my back line, because they are <laughs> most of the time the damage dealers. Yeah, yeah. that's a great. That's a, I, I haven't thought about that, uh, but I think if you only apply that change to the deer form, not the human form, because that would basically, that would pretty much kill the any, the human form synergy with like an e-wiz, a witch. Um, so yeah, that's that's a that's a great idea. That's a great idea. All right, let's move on to the next hero on the list. It's going to be a hero that dad needed some love. It's going to be the royal champion. Uh, uh, have you tried her? Uh, I think once with the bandits, uh, and mm -hmm. a, uh, wizard, e wizard, uh, mega knight kind of deck. Yeah. But personally, I still think it isn't enough. Mm. It still needs like a little bit more because you won't really notice that one, uh, zero point one at attack uh, speed increase. Mm. So I think they just need to do something because she's just so like, yeah, she can die really qu quickly. Hmm. I think they need to bring back the, uh, the shield. I don't know how, but she needs to like live longer as yeah. a hero. I don't think that's like well made. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, her, her survivability is definitely... It's probably the worst. It's probably the worst in game. I don't think there's any any heroes that has like if you were to rank survivability, she would. Uh, I don't know. She would definitely be amongst the last for sure. Um, yeah. I just think like she's just a, she's like a, a the the a weaker version of an archer queen to be honest. Uh, yeah. Uh, just uh, basically yeah. She, her kit isn't strong enough, that's for sure. And I do think either maybe clash ability or uh, some something else, bro. There's got to be something else. There's got to be something else. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I have I've tried her a little bit, but to be honest, I, I don't. You can't really feel such small changes. I mean, yes, she does hit faster. Yes, she gets her ults faster, but. I don't think we're there yet. All right, moving on now to probably a hero that I personally missed the most, and I think you as well. It's going to be the Archer Queen. Archer Queen, it was tough. It was, it was tough, and I think the worst part that was that it was in, unintentional. Uh, yeah, I think that's that's what they said. Maybe like a like a somehow she had a a. a nerf to her invincibility it's good to bring her back i think uh last at last balance changes uh not, not this one but uh the one before she was she had a, she was in a good spot uh what what would you say would Wait. you say right in... yeah go ahead uh you mean before she do, got do you the think right... accidental because oh. I think when she was like meta, like when everybody was using her on top ladder, I think she was too OP. So I think, and then they did like a two second reduction mm -hmm. or yeah. And now it's back to like plus one. So I think it. Uh, she's now in a really good spot. Mm -hmm. uh, like first it was uh, before, like when it was meta, it was too much. And it was too uh, too little, and now mm. it's just. I think it's perfectly fine. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's just so, all I gotta say. Yeah. So, okay. So Archer Queen. I didn't. I thought they like reverted back to their original invincibility uh, invisibility duration, but 
uh, from what you're saying. Apparently not so... Basically, I think what, what Clash Mini is doing really well is that they're like tuning, like doing a little bit of a buff, okay, it's too strong, a, little, a smaller nerf, okay, it's too weak, a smaller buff to reach that perfect balance, and I think that's really where they are shining. And uh, do you think Archer Queen uh, will be top a, a competitive hero uh, in in this season? Uh, I do think Archer Queen will have her spot, but mm -hmm. personally, I do not think she will be the S tier, the top tier, the best. Uh, Hero in the yep. meta. Because okay. I think with the last matches I had, it's way difficult, it's like way more difficult to uh, win uh, shield maiden matchups. But mm -hmm. this, is, this isn't about like uh, the Arch Queen itself, but the, the new uh, mini P.E.K.K.A. Uh, it would, nah, it's all, uh, it's a bit time ago long mm -hmm. long time ago and uh, yeah. they changed the stars but i haven't really used him at three stars against a shield maiden but he dies really quickly now mm -hmm. and he doesn't do any damage okay so so the, so the shield maiden matchup is basically even more impossible now especially with like the the healing nerfs the just uh, mini yeah. Pekka, you said so. Mini Pekka is weaker against Shield Maiden now than before. Now, now that it, I think it was all this time, but I never used him with because uh, AQ was like dead, and I never used AQ uh, Mini Pekka against Shield Maiden. Mm -hmm. And now I realize it's way difficult, way more difficult. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, from I just the fact that now she can, she's a good viable pick against BK. I'm pretty satisfied with that, to be honest. It was just, yeah, that's, it was so that's difficult. The best thing. Honestly, losing playing Archer Queen and losing against BK 2.0, that was rough, dude. That was rough. All right. So now we're moving on to the minis here with the Archer, aka the Expo. Uh, now she's gonna be nerfed, she's gonna have a 0.1 second hit speed decrease. Uh, what are your thoughts? I mean, she was basically what made the BK super strong. Uh, is that going to be enough? So, I do think it's the same scenario as the world champion. I haven't seen that much of like a change, or just yet. It's almost the same interactions. Like if you have a fully Barcher uh, with Lumberjack, it will still kill the three star healing ranger, mm -hmm. which is like insane. Yeah. So I don't really think there's that much of a change there, but I think it was just needed maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think they should have, I, I think this is probably my my, for me, I think they missed the mark in a way because I don't think that was her hit speed that was too broken. I think the fact that she could stack hit speed yes. boosts, that was definitely, definitely like just what makes her so strong. And uh, and I, I think they should honestly go back. I, I don't know why they changed this, uh, like, um, like people complain and then they fix it and then they, she they bring it back, so that's uh, that's a bit unfortunate. But uh, we'll still see some expo action on the game here for sure. Um, but the BK nerf does help. All right, well we yeah. got we talked about Archer. Let's talk about uh, Barb. Uh, Barb getting a stack, uh, a rage stack nerf. So this means he's not going to be able to. Increase his hit speeds. His hit speed 15 times. It's going to go down to 10 times. Uh, I think Barb was definitely just super strong. What do you think about that uh, that balance change? So yeah, they reduced it from 15 to 10, 
uh, yep. the attack speed. And I think it's just... I don't think he was that big of a problem because there were just uh, like units that could have easily taken care of uh, the barb. Mm -hmm. So now he's back to like a one uh, meaning like he's only there for Barcher. And okay. I don't really see him as a damage dealer now. Okay. So yeah, so now I, I guess his role is just going to be to boost an archer and not really be because I think for me Barbarian was too versatile. You had a very strong too many DPS machine and also a boast that boast ability that could just go make the, the archer queen go crazy. Make the uh, the the archer go crazy archer. so yeah we'll have to see we'll have to see uh, if uh, if in the future they change it or not all right uh well we're moving on here to both the the bounce change here on both the valkyrie and the wizard deep wound and spicy ability are is going to be nerfed which means their healing is going to go down from to 75 from 75 to 66, any any thoughts? Because uh, um, I think yes. So I, I, I don't know. I, I I don't think anyone really complained. I felt like th these two abilities kept the battle healers and the shield maidens and the healing rangers like 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 uh, they kept them like pretty. Like you, there, there was some sort of counterplay to it, but now that they've removed it, oof, that's gonna be tough. That is going to be very, very, just. I'm very scared about a meta where you're not gonna be able to kill anything with the amount of healing on the board. What was yeah, your, uh, what's your thoughts? I don't think it. It's the same. It's like a little touch, but. Still, I haven't seen that much, like, abuse. Mm -hmm. Maybe with Shield Maiden against me with Archer Queen, because that's uh, own, one of the only heroes I've played. I mm -hmm. haven't really tried something with healing, because, uh, I don't know. I don't think it's, like, that much of a change. Uh, it might just uh, do, like, one plus healing, because mm -hmm. the... Battle healer does like six uh, heal for healing, and then yeah. the wizard does four. Yeah. Okay. I, I see what so, you mean. So. See what you mean. Um. I, I. I. I think, like Valkyrie and Wizard, they weren't really like bat against battle healer shield maiden. They would do okay, but the shield maiden would reflect reflect the damage back, so they would still have a tough time. Like really hard countering, shield minion and battle healer. So I I don't know this change, kind of comes out of nowhere in my opinion. Well, uh, we've got now also what I th believe to be a miss on Clash Mini Balance Change team. It's going to be the Fisherman. Uh, for me right now, Fisherman only has one ability, maybe two. You could say stun can work, but uh, I, I, there's something there's something wrong with the fisherman. I just, for me, every mini sh every mini's upgrades should be useful, viable in a way. And just going upgrading your fisherman more than one star feels like an overcommitment, in my opinion. So, what do you think about uh, the fact that now fishermen cannot remove, cannot silence? Uh, troops on the board. So yeah, this this already was, but now they just confirmed it. It wasn't a bug, but they mm -hmm. did it intentionally. Uh, I think with the war tooth now in rotation, there's no place for uh, fishermen. It's just it's too risky, and yeah, it because there are only six gizmos now in mm. this rotation. So it's 50% uh, chance your fisherman is useless. Exactly. And personally, I don't like those odds. So yeah. I'd rather have something more viable like a bowler to get to the back line, you know? 
Yeah. Fisherman pretty much... Would you say Fisherman's dead? For this season? For or now? You th you th yes. You unless... Yeah, there's something that happens with the gizmo changes. Because Wartooth just kills the whole point of Fisherman. Hmm. Okay. It could also be a thing that they just removed the first, like, that Wartooth does like a clash at the beginning and it will immediately uh, like do the war tooth uh, ability yeah. so you can fish her ah okay okay I see, what that, you mean. I see what you mean but that would maybe like increase yeah. the power like the the fisherman would be every uh, everywhere yeah and that would heavily or nerf, not, so or no, that so. would that would heavily nerf the war tooth because in every clash ability would do their job, so... Yeah. Alright, moving on, Mega Knight. 2 HP buff. Uh, I'm currently using Mega Knight right now. Uh, any thoughts? I mean... Uh, for, what do you think? I think Pekka... Pekka was too much of a better option when it came to the 4 Elixir tank, like, damage control uh, area. Uh, do you think that all that is enough of a buff to to make the Mega Knight as good as the Pekka? Um. So yeah, I I do think Mega Knight is way not way better, not but it's just better now because mm -hmm. the damage, uh, no, the HP is just not. It's a little bit better. Now it's just a uh, bit tanky, uh, but I don't. Yeah, you can use him front line, and but the thing is, you have Wartooth and uh, Mucho Poncho that just eliminate the Mega Knight because they mm -hmm. can just stun him back, and if you know how to use him, it's yeah, it's yeah, scary. Okay, so, so I think. Do you think this balance yeah, change uh, I, changed much, or is it just just a I little? I think it's just a little touch to mm -hmm. uh, make give him some give him some more love to make him more of like a a comp make him like so that people can like really consider Mega Knight or Pekka or or make him like a better four elixir troop because I think that's that's maybe what they were going with. Uh, all right. Um, yeah. Bowler. My God. What do they do? Bowler plus one damage on the first upgrade. Well, I gotta say, oof. That was. Did you did you think Bowler needed needed a buff? Um, I don't think so. I don't really think he needed a buff, but I don't think it's that much worse because I haven't noticed it like a lot that it's like impacting the game mm -hmm. but yeah it's just maybe in decks that like rely on backline damage it's a bit better mm -hmm. but after time like how many like if he keeps on getting the ability you can get like a big profit because it's mm. Like one damage plus yeah. every time you throw it in the and then in comparison. That's very true. That's very true. And the thing is now he can two tap a lot of troops, going from four uh, going for from four damage with the first upgrade to to five damage. He can now do. He can go from eight HP. He can do, like deal instant eight HP to no wait wait. No wait now now with two shots he can go he can oh my god you can, <laughs> I wanted to say is that the bowler now with two shots he would do two times four damage so eight damage and now he does two times five damage which is ten and that that two taps many support troops yes. so for I, I it, hmm. for that cause if you yeah you because you're using the bowler for backline damage. I do think that I don't yeah personally I don't think it was necessary but it's a little touch like everything in this update it's 
a bit of tweak to keep everything in line. Hmm. Maybe they looked at the, uh, the usage rate and the win rate and they, th uh, they saw it bowler and they thought, oh, nobody is using him and there's a low win percentage because okay. they have done that before and they can like look at those stats that information and then do uh, like do a little tweak with yeah. the stats okay so that's maybe where that's coming from from like a st statistical point of view okay. mm -hmm. um, okay. all right now let's move on to the gizmo changes we've got king tower and war toot being receiving a little change. King Tower will now do uh, less damage to buildings. Um, I, will it change interactions like a hot pot King Tower? Who knows? Um, but I think uh, I had I don't I don't think the King Tower. I think the King Tower is fine. I think the it, it's a very interesting decision to go. Okay, am I going for a two-star gizmo or waiting for a four-star gizmo like the King Tower, who can really put in the work? Uh, mm -hmm. Any you th you think um, is do you think the King Tower is in a healthy spot uh, when when you played her when you played the King Tower competitively? What were your thoughts on on the King Tower? Just briefly. Oh. Yeah, he isn't in rotation right now, so I can't really say that much in uh, like how he is in the meta. Yeah. But I think because he's the only four star gizmo, yeah. it's just a bit overwhelming. And if he's in the rotation, most of the times you need to use hmm. the king tower. So. You gotta make like a cheap deck to cycle and get that uh, uh, King Tower as yeah. soon as possible. Cause do you think King Tower just... King Tower is unhealthy for the Gizmo selections? A bit like the pump at the moment, where if you're not going pump, if you're not going King Tower, and your opponent has the pump, has the King Tower, you're gonna be in a position where you're gonna have to play the King Tower or the or the pump. Yeah, it's like, you, like for I me, do not it, know it, the. It, for, for me, it reduces the the options that you have. Much like the BK yeah. BK two point like you have to use it or else you would lose. King Terror is a, feels kind of the same, and I don't think that's how Gizmo should feel. Uh, so I, I think the four elixir Gizmos is uh, is a very interesting concept. But it needs a little bit more work. Because I think right now, mm, not too fun. Not too fun. Alright, uh, let's move on now to the last bound change here, which is going to be the War 2. War 2 gaining a 40% attack speed. Okay, sure. Uh, I just, in my, my opinion, is that uh, War 2 doesn't do his job. He, I think he's, for, he, he removes, like half of the time he removes the anti-stun. Anti like anti control effect or something like that. I think it's it's too weak. I think the purpose of the war two isn't to rage troops up. It's to remove the control effects. And I don't know this this gizmo change for me isn't really like it doesn't change much. What do you think? So yeah, the, I think they need to make the war two what you said more rely on the anti stun yeah. because. The war tooth just like just waves every four, five seconds yeah. or so, and I just think yeah it makes room for like other troops to get like in the back line because you're mm -hmm. you, most of the time you're using war tooth for back line, and even though it's not the 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 job the job of uh, the war tooth, I think if they just make like no waves like it's always anti-stun mm -hmm. it's going to be a bit op so that's why i think they compensate a bit of a uh, reducement of anti uh mm -hmm. stun with more attack speed yeah but now they 
yeah, the they did from thirty percent to, to 40. forty. Yeah. And first, I didn't even notice the speed boost, but now it's I can definitely see it's there. So I do think now it's better. But what you said, it's just it could go very good or very wrong. Ah, the one okay, okay. Both. I see what you mean. I see what you mean. You think? Yeah, I, I mean, in a way, I think maybe War Two is balanced. I would say it's a little bit on the weak side. I I don't. I would probably give like a half second more or something like that to the anti stun. I don't know, but I War Two seems like in a healthy spot. Um, all right, thank you so much, Yulia, for discussing balance changes. Uh, very interesting thoughts uh, to get from uh, a a great players like a great player like yourself. Um, thank you so much for doing this with me, and uh, and I'll see you uh, in another another balance change.